2021, what a year. I've made some good videos and some bad videos, but it's been an alright year. Um, so this video shows be my top 5 favourite videos of this year. Um, yeah, so sit back, get some popcorn and all that jazz and enjoy. Catch you in the next year and hope you had a good new year. Peace. What was that? I don't know. Man. Yeah. French New Wave, I believe, has had the biggest impact on film since his birth and built the foundation for what modern cinema is today. In this brief documentary focused around the French New Wave movement, you will discover how impactful this era of film was and the various characteristics that are associated with these films and how they inspired a generation. Disclaimer, I am not a professional in research. So if I have missed some information, please forgive me. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. French New Wave, I believe, has had the biggest impact on film since its birth and built the foundation for what modern cinema is today, with the movement inspiring a whole generation of young filmmakers, such as Quentin Tarantino and many other notable figures in the industry. French New Wave, translated in French, is Nouveau Vague, took the film industry by storm in the 1950s and 60s that clearly prioritised creativity and free will with the auteur theory, where the director is the artist and the film is canvas. In contrast to how it was previously done, with the studio having full control, just imagine what film would look like now if this revolutionary idea from a handful of individuals never took place. It might seem normal today, but at the time this was considered shocking, with filmmakers constantly battling against traditional media that at the time became stale, following a set structure and essentially having an unwritten rule that few prior to his movement were rarely stepped over. It all began with Jean-Luc Godard, Francis Truffaut and Eric Romer, who were cinephiles and critics run for a French magazine, Cahiers du Cinema. This writing on film may have assisted in the fundamental ideas that changed film in a major way. A few characteristics that can be identified is with their handheld cameras instead of keeping them stationary, allowing for more realism and more discreet so they're able to have millions of extras without cost. Non-continuity editing is a technique that disrupts the audience's attention, usually in the form of flashbacks, but instead of showing the distance in time, editors cut the footage that isn't needed to speed up the pace of the film. On a surprising note, most dialogue was completely improvised, creating the more realistic effect with actors emotions feeling more authentic. As you can tell throughout this hopefully educational video, the whole purpose of this movement was to create art by filmmakers on their own terms, but inspired decades of young filmmakers. And I am positive that anyone who watches the films from this period, they will feel inspired and make you truly believe that one is able to go far in this industry, no matter the budget or the limitation a person may have. I hope more people research further into this period from sources that are much more better than mine. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to your channel, uh, Lizzy Media. Today, going to my college notes, 14th of September 2020. Persistence of vision. The persistence of vision is the optical illusion that is caused by presenting a series of images in quick succession, with your eyes thinking that it is a continuous moving image. The use of this technique is often used in animation where one image is shown for every two frames of film. Note slash research. Edward Maybridge built many cameras on a horse track. Research about flipbooks for future project camera obscure slash pinhole. Video one. The light is reflected by any object we look at, which passes through the lens of the eye upside down on the part that's called the retina. 
back of the eye. The image the light is projecting passes from the retina to the optic nerve, sending it to the brain to right side up, the way the image originally appeared. This image will stay until it disappears when the object goes out of view. However, the image that is projecting through the brain slowly fades and doesn't disappear instantly, but a fraction of a second after the object is removed. On video 2, the person presenting the video has a red, blue and green light that are constantly turning off and on, but from the exterior it appears purple. When the light is spun in a circle, you can clearly see the three different colour balls individually. This is due to lights turning on and off so quickly after each other, your brain will merge all three colours together, causing it to have the purple appearance when it's in one place. The reason why you can see the colours separate when you spin the lights in a circle is because you're getting the ball to switch colours at different points in space, causing the eye to not hold the colours as it switches to each colour. Video 3 consists of a similar explanation to both the first two videos, with slightly different ways of conveying information by flipbooks and the different ways you can present a series of images to your eyes. Take a brief look at the history of how these flipbooks were viewed in the early stages of media. Thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something or something, but yeah, see ya. I'll be back soon. Be good. We will. Bye. You ready? No. We'll get in trouble. We've gone there, Teaser. He won't see us. We'll check it out before he comes back. Come on. No. I don't want to get in trouble. Come on. You're not at least a bit curious. I guess so. Hey, come on. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ow! Well, 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 we heard the noise from the garage and we, we came to check it out. The, the, there's nothing here, luckily. We, we can go now. Yeah, we're just about to leave. I don't care, I don't ask for much. Well, answer, yes or no? Uh, no, no. No. All I ask is never enter the garage. But, Granddad. No buts. Get out! Grandad? What? Why is it so bad to enter the garage? And why is there a weird mysterious box in the corner? Call it sentimental. I've had this in my possession since my twenties. So, if I'm overprotective, I'll show you when you're older. You promise? Look, I promise. Okay. Take your brother inside, get yourselves a snack, and I'll give you a game of football for an hour. Hello, old friend. We can't let you fall into the wrong hands, can we?
Oh, shit. Do you want to go and clear out the garage? Okay. All right, get started and I'll make you some food. Let me know if you need any help. I can't be your grandma's stairs. No. Can't be someone's skin. Who would do that? Maybe it has something to do with that box. I mean, you it. A couple of minutes later, it's dead. It, it can't be a coincidence. I'm going to go see what's inside the box. I'm not joking, right? What if the same thing happens and someone else gets hurt? Do you think it's matter too much? Relax. You think so? I know so. So, you ready? Yeah. Can I help you? Are you Deborah Jane Lisley? Yes. What was that? I don't know. Whatever it is, it didn't sound good. Who are you? I was a friend of your grandfather's. That's weird. How, how haven't I seen you before? We had a misunderstanding a few years ago about some business which was occurring at the time. Anyway, that's not important right now. I'm more concerned about that box you've got. Why? Wait, wait, wait. What was that loud noise a second ago? Nothing major. Just two cars collided up the road. Nothing to worry about. Please pass me the box. I wouldn't want to break the promise to your grandfather. What are you waiting for? Pass it to him. Why? Why do you know he's telling the truth? Might be lying. It was Gandalf the Wilson, so we can't break it. But, but. Fine, Elder. Thank you, boys. My boss will be very happy. Boss? Yes, boss. I'm sorry. It's a no witnesses. Late. I know, I'm sorry. I came over a small inconvenience. Nothing major, I hope. You know what's happened if the contents of this box was to be known to the public. Don't worry, sir. No witnesses. Good. Yeah. Hopefully things go as planned and continue with minimal difficulties. Right. I'm sure I don't need to inform you what would happen if a situation was to occur. Of course, sir. I shall personally see that it all goes smoothly and nothing will prevent us from completing this mission. Let's hope for both of our sakes, for you not all talk. I probably say I'm not. So what do you think the organised icing would do with this type of wrapping? I have no idea. Even I've been left in the dark. Just know we all have to be wary of what follows. They have the power to turn the world on its head. I see. I've done enough of these missions to know what follows. I'm sorry, but I have no choice. I know, sir. It's been an honour serving with you. Goodbye.
I'm sorry, Grandad. Mother. Jamie. If only I didn't open that box, maybe you'd all still be here. It's all my fault. <laughs> I need to get stronger. I need to fix my mistakes. I need to. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> I just need to go see with me. <laughs>